What's up guys, it's Brian from Beat Turismo and today, ooh, check it out. We are going to finally, finally wash the car. I haven't washed this car since March or April. Um, it just sits in here all the time, so it doesn't see rain or anything, but still, it uh, needs it. Can you see the water spots in there? Yeah, there's water spots, there's all this stuff. This needs to be, um, gone over a bit so that's kind of the idea here we're gonna start with a wash see what's left and start attacking things yeah okay, always as we always do um, with the car we're gonna start with the wheels and break down yes this is a custom bottle and it's also a custom blend I took breakdown and mixed it three to one with distilled water The reason I did that is because I use it so much and what I'm working with here is fairly easy to get off so I didn't think I needed it full strength and you might have a similar experience. You're welcome to try it out in a different concentration. Using how, um, how dirty this can get considering it doesn't drive much. spraying the tire all over the rim all over up, up in here and then each spoke get the deliberate spray to Get better results uh, you'll almost definitely get better results with agitation however i'm here today to show you how well it does without agitation turn on the water and here we go always test your nozzle away from the car before you start spraying
Okay. That's that. I don't know why it seems to be steaming so much. This car was, hasn't been driven in a week. It's not warmed up at all. Let's see how dirty that is. Ooh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to agitate. I think we're going to not do that, though. The goal of this activity today is really to um, get the car prepped so it can be hit with some finesse. You see these water spots here? I think you can see them. You can see yourself. Oh, there we go. Look in that, look in the field here by my finger. See how the water spots are there? I'm not sure what it's from. It happens to everybody. If you're not, I guess, careful enough with your car. It's time to get mine fixed up. Okay, that's a brief overview of Breakdown from Americana Global. It looks really good, right? I mean, yeah, it could be better if we agitated it, but for a no-touch solution, it really got the tires clean. Oh, what the? You, you talked me into it. I'm gonna agitate. Here I go. Okay, on to agitation. So this is all I've got. I got a brush. Dirty. I gotta clean it and I got a kind of like a wheel woolly but not terribly good one. Basically it's a microfiber uh, wedge that I can use to stick in between the brake and the wheel between the barrels. So this is all that's needed with agitation. Again, your procedure may vary. For me, this isn't a very dirty car, so this is all it takes. Now, if you remember, these wheels were filthy in the front. See, that kind of shows up there. I like to work my way in, meaning try to do the faces first. I don't really have anything to get in there between the lug. Faces. Okay, pretty clean. Now I like to work inside of the spokes. Just take a look at how dirty it's coming off. If you see a bunch of dirt, then obviously wash off your tool so that you're not rubbing your dirt into other parts of the wheel. start they're always going to be filthy if you've got a type R. Unless you've changed to some other cleaner pads. See, this tool doesn't do a great job getting right behind the spokes but we do our best. <laughs> every section of the barrel so you would technically need to roll the car forward and get the last remaining little bit. I'm not gonna do that though. Look at all the extra dirt I got off by agitating. <clears throat> My bucket here has just um, some Americana Global soap and Americana Global chaos. <laughs> Thank you. 